In this video, I'm gonna try skating in some inline slalom skates. Now, these skates are a hardcore Evo skate from Power Slide, and they have a Trinity frame on them, and the wheels are uh, 90 millimeter wheels, and I wanna tell you how hard they are. I think they're, they're pretty hard outdoor wheels, but I've actually worn the number off, so I can't tell you exactly how hard they are, but a nice new skate smell. A complete different smell to my other skates that you saw me skating on that were wretched. Now these are tri skates and I've set them with what is known as a heavy rocker. So this wheel is going to stick out a little bit. It's going to be lower down than these two, allowing me to have more maneuverability and will hopefully allow me to do a bit of footwork on them. Now I was told that I could heat mold these skates so they will be really comfortable, but I will start by saying, putting my foot directly in them without heat molding in the slightest, they are already the most comfortable skate I've ever put on my feet ever. All right, so I'm gonna chuck them on and get going and see how they are. Try some other places in a bit if you want. First remark is they're not like figure skates, they're a bit close to hockey skates. So you can go straight off the heel and straight off the back. That's the first thing I noticed. Second thing, these are so lightweight. I feel like I'm wearing basically a pair of sneakers on my feet or trainers if you're in the UK. Now my off-ice skates and, and uh, figure skating boot combo are really heavy, coming in at over five kilos. These feel very light on my feet and I absolutely love that about them. They're really comfortable. I do feel though that the rocker is in a bit of a different place on the front because I feel like I could very quickly slip off my toe if I'm not careful. That said, the rocker does feel good under my feet. I feel like it will allow me to do plenty of things that I would normally be able to do in my figure skates. So my thoughts after having a good bit of practice on them, out with a little bit more space, uh, first off, they are smooth to skate on. I mean, these things, they can go fast if you really want them to. And these wheels, when they wanna go, they go. You glide so easily in them. It's really a pleasure to skate in. And you can feel everything through this boot very comfortably. So I've managed to do crossovers, three turns mohawks, chalk doors, counter rockers. I've done spread eagles outside with straight legs, with bent legs. I've done a lot of things in them. So I think if you're wondering if you can get a pair of regular inline skates and try and get the job done, practice off ice, I think there's a lot you can do. But the question is, is what can't you do? Well, the things you won't be doing is your toe jumps, any kind of jump that you would normally do in figure skates, I probably wouldn't recommend you trying in these because it's like trying to do them in hockey skates and I wouldn't necessarily recommend that either. And also spinning, spinning will be really hard as it is in hockey skates on the ice, but then when you're wearing the any kind of off ice equivalent, spinning is very, very different to on the ice. So people are always having to relearn their technique so they can spin anyway, which begs the question, if you're doing it to help with figure skating, is it worth going through the effort to learn them because it could potentially change your technique on the ice? Maybe it's better to stick into things that you don't have to change your technique to do. Now, one thing I wanna talk about quickly is the wheels. Now, these wheels, 
they can take an absolute battering. I spent quite a lot of time sliding, doing power slides and power stops. And to be honest, the wheels are still in pretty good condition. If you remember last time, the wheels were melting like butter. Well, these are a good set of very strong outdoor wheels and you really notice the difference with quality. So despite these skates feeling uh, a little bit more like hockey skates, I actually found that when I was skating in them, when I wanted to push quite hard and get a good push, I felt that I was actually gripping the floor better. When I was skating in other skates, I felt like I was slipping off and I was gonna fall a lot, but these feel like they grip the floor better as I, as I skate on them. Now skating in these is not figure skating and it is not off ice figure skating. It is a little bit different. That doesn't mean to say you can't get some benefit if you want to improve your on ice skating, skating in these. If I'm doing crossovers, I can practice doing them just as I would if I was wearing my figure skates like this. There's no, absolutely nothing I'm changing with the technique doing them forwards or if I'm doing them backwards, like this. The technique is exactly the same as it is on the ice in them. So I think that ultimately it comes down to this when wondering, could you buy inline skates that are more like hockey skates or do you have to get the specific figure skating equipment? I would say that it comes down to what do you want to do in them. If you really have to do your double or triple toe loop, your double axles and things like this, then you will not be able to do it in these skates. But if you're working on things like your three turns and, and stuff like that, and your, your crossovers, maybe your spread eagles, lots of different things like this, a pair of inline skates will get the job done. And here I'm skating on tri skates. I've heard that if you have four wheels, it gives you a little bit more stable balance for doing things like twizzles and that. So hopefully I get to try out some skates like that. But certainly these inline skates, tri skates, have done a great job and, and I've certainly enjoyed my time using them. So in my next video, I'll be trying out some slalom moves. So until then, if you like this video, smash the like button for me, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you're skating. What is your preference? What is your setup for inline skates? And if you like the content I'm producing here, check out my Patreon page. We've got loads of tutorial videos, learning all different aspects of, of skating in general. Check it out. There's a growing community there and I'm sure you'll have a great time.